What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rob Lito, and I am bringing you the 85 by Chad Ochocinco. It is the El Patron Laguto. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? This your boy Rob Lito. And I am smoking on the 85 by Chad Ocho Cinco. This is the El Patron Laguito, number number six. This is a 56 and a half cigar. Now this cigar has the blends of Nicaraguan and uh, Dominican Republic tobacco. But it also has a premium of a long filter Cuban seed wrapped around an Ecuadorian leaf. And so far, I know, like I said, I, I gotta stop doing this, but I'm so used to just lighting up my cigar and not talking about it. But I'm, you know, this is, this is what I do. Also, I use my selective draw to punch the holes. I recommend you using this you're not the type of person like to cut, cut, cut. You just want to poke a hole and get a good draw. This is a really good draw right here. Now I'm waiting online for the Boa Vida, AKA the Good Life. They are out of stock at this present time. Um, it is a Brazilian Nicaraguan fillers with the Indonesian binder. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to get back in stock so I can purchase some. Right now I'm getting just a nice smoothness out the cigar. Good creaminess. I know y'all are supposed to, you know, do the dry retro hell and everything else, but man. I was so excited to do this cigar and it's Black History Month and it's, you know, this is a brother right here. Now to give you a little brief history of Mr. Chad Johnson, he came from the College of Oregon State. He got drafted in 2001 by round two, pick 36 to the Cincinnati Bengals, which he started from 2001 to 2010. In 2011, he played for the New England Patriots. And in 2012, he played for the Miami Dolphins. And right now, this is a pretty good cigar right now. I'm not going in front. Like I said, I ordered a sample pack earlier but I ordered this like six, seven months ago. So this particular cigar right here has been in my humidor for a good six to seven months. And I, like I said, I'm not getting no pepper notes, but I'm getting a lot of cream. Good, good cream, but I'm also getting a slight dryness. I'm, I'm, I'm baffling on what I'm, I don't want to say what I think I want to say right now. I think I'll probably let you know when I get down to the maybe two thirds of the cigar. But right now, this is a great smoke cigar. Good construction on the cigar. It does have a slight toothiness, but it's it's not a problem. Look at that mascara. Mascara is pretty good. Nice, cream, smooth. No pepper, just smooth, very nice. So I'm assuming that on a two third of the cigar, 
I'm gonna probably get some pepper. But like I said, I'm getting a taste that it's familiar to me. And it's kind of weird that I'm getting it from the cigar, but it was the last two of the sample pack tasted the same way. Don't get me wrong. It's, I, I enjoyed it. But right now I'm just like, this, this, it, it's, it's, it's weird. And I'm, I'm, if I say it, then everyone's going to be like, really, Robledo, seriously, but it, it's, it's there. So. So let me smoke this down to the two third. I'm gonna get right back with you. Peace. All right, I am back. And so far I am enjoying this cigar. It's the 88 by Ocho Cinco. This is the El Patron Laquito, number six. This is a pretty good cigar, man. I mean, it's, it's very smooth smoking. Um, pepper is not strong, which I would think because of Dominican and Nicaraguan and even the Ecuadorian leaf, I would you would think like, man, this should be pushing pepper like it ain't nothing, but. It's really controlled. The construction of the cigar is very, very good. I am not going to lie to you. I am enjoying this cigar. But what's killing me is I'm getting a taste. And I know people will be saying, yeah, you know, the cigars taste like peach trees on a Spring Sunday and all that, but no, but I'm getting a dry red wine. Like aftertaste like you drink dry red wine. And I'm enjoying this. Like right now, ooh, excuse me. Sorry, my bad. Right now, <laughs> I really want to enjoy a steak with this cigar. This is one of the cigars you enjoy with a steak, not just any steak, a nice off the grill, seasoned lightly steak. This is one of those cigars that you have with it. And this is, is this is good. I mean, I'm not going to front. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I purchased the sample pack earlier. And maybe because the simple fact I've had aged this cigar a little bit longer in my humidor for like six to seven months. But I have no problem with this cigar. None whatsoever. And also, since I have used my selective draw, my selective, my selective draw. To punch the holes in the top. The drawers are easy. I'm getting some good notes. I mean, not a lot of notes, but I'm getting that that dryness. But it's like that red wine dryness. It's not like a bad dryness. This is a good, good cigar. It's like the pepper is not powerful, but you know it's there. Like. It's at the rim of my lip, but it's not, I'm not backing off from it. This is a good cigar, man. Oh, let me give you the prices of these cigars. For a single is $15.85. For three is $47. For five is $79. For 10 is $159. And the go box, that's when you ball it, is $317. And again, I had long ash too. It was, oh man, it was, but it, it fell on my lap as always. Long ashes would do. But 
but this is a good, good cigar. I, I'm not going to argue with it. So I'm going to smoke this down to damn near the band. And I'll hit right back with you. Okay, I am back. And this has been a great smoke. It has now, it is a medium cigar. I'm not going to front, it is a medium cigar. The dry wine has completely left the building. Pepper is starting to kick in. But I thought I'd never experience this in a cigar, but I'm getting a mint taste like fresh mint very good very good so it went from smooth creamy dry wine down to a mint to a mint and peppermint and I can honestly say that this is a good smoking cigar I'm I'm not going to front on this one and this is a good cigar to end for my Black History Month. This is excellent smoke. And I'm getting a little taste of sweetness, which is really enhancing my palate. And I'm really enjoying this cigar. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Once again, this is the El Patron Laguito. Number six from 85 Cigars by Chad Ochocinco. Chad Johnson, Ocho, a.k.a. Mr. Ochocinco. Great smoke, great smoke output. Great construction. I didn't have to relight it. I didn't have to fix nothing. It did slight canoe, but it corrected itself. That because of the good construction, a good hand roll by a Cuban master. Correction, Cuban master roller. This is a good smoking cigar. This is a cigar that's Rob Lito worthy. It's a three pack, five pack worthy. And I highly suggest that you, if you got, you know, some cash flowing around in you, to buy the box set. I'm down to the nub. This is the three third of it. Great smoking cigar. Shout out to Select Draw for helping my smoking experience because it has helped my smoking experience a little great. It helped me to find the notes that I'm looking for. Again, you can see the smoke output is blowing. My rabbit air ain't even going off right now. It's kind of, kind of strange, but it ain't going off. Everything is smooth. Nice little sweetness. Hint of mint. And a very good dose of pepper. And that's it for right now. I'm going to finish this cigar off. I just want to say thank you again for stopping by. Remember, click, like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.